In this video, I am going to show you how to install PFSense in VMware. The same way we can install the PFSense in hardware PC as well. For this purpose, we required minimum two NIC cards for connecting the LAN and WAN. For downloading the PFSense firewall operating system, you can use the description link. Open the VMware, press the new virtual machine, then use the typical options. Then press the next button. Then select the ISO file of PFSense. Then type the virtual machine name and storage location. Then press the next button. For this installation, I am using 20 GB hard drive. Then press the next button. Before finishing, if you want to customize the hardware, we can do the customization. I am pressing the customization button. Then I am increasing the memory of PFSense and increasing the processor as well. Here we can see only one network card. For the router purpose, we required minimum two network card. I am adding the second network card. Then press the add button, add the network adapter. Then press the next button and finish. Here we have already added two network card. Now it is started to boot with the PFSense operating system. For booting multi-user, we need to press 1. Now it is booting. In many locations for this installation, I am using the fast forwarding for avoiding the video lagging. Accept the copyrights. Then select the first option for the installing the PFSense. Then press OK. Continue with the default key map. Select the default one and press OK. Select the hard drive for the installation, then press OK. Confirm the hard disk partition changes, then press Yes. Now it will start to install. Now our installation is finished. Then press the Confirm Yes. Select the Reboot option. Now we will get the option for enabling the VLAN. If you want to use the VLAN setup, we can press S. Yes. If you are not using, press the no end button. I am using SY for setupping the VLAN. VLAN capable interface, we need to select. Type the interface name. First we set up the VAN. Now we need to enter the LAN adapter. Now we have configured LAN and VAN. Now we want to confirm the settings. Pressing yes. Now our LAN and WAN interface is configured. By default, LAN is coming with 192.168.1.1. WAN will be DHCP. We need to change the LAN IP in our network adapter settings. I'm just configuring the LAN adapter as 1.2. First, we need to verify the pingy. Then only we need to configure the IP. I'm just doing the LAN IP changes on the network card. Enter the IP address and subnet mask. Then press the OK button. Now we can ping to the 192.168.1.1. That will be your PFSense default LAN IP. Now it is pinging. Open the web browser. We can type the IP 192.168.1.1. Enter the username and password. Admin admin. This is a default username and password of VM PFSense. Now we can see the PFSense web interface is loaded from the VMware. We can do the basic setup. Enter the host name, domain name, DNS name, details, everything. Then press the next button. Then enter the time server. Then select the time zone as well. Then we can select our WAN interface settings. Here I am using the WAN as DHCP. So I am selecting as WAN. If you want to change settings, we can change PPPoE or PPTP or static IP. We can use for entering the WAN IP details. Here I am using only DHCP, so I am just selecting DHCP and pressing the next button. If you want to change the LAN IP, we can change from here. I am just continuing with the same setup and pressing the next button. 
here we can change the admin password if you want to change the admin password we can change this is the same password we are using for accessing the ssh then press the next button once after finishing this option we will get the reload option on this time the pf send service will reload automatically once after finishing the reload we will get the option to finish this operation and press the finish button once after finishing it will reload again and we will get the option to now we need to accept the copyright and terms then press the close here we can see the van and land configuration we have finished the basic setup and configuration of pfsense operating system in vm thank you for watching this video if you like the video please press the like button share and subscribe